You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Ask Drone You. My name's Paul. My name is Rob. Yes, welcome. So glad that you're uh, hanging out with us today. Hope your 2020 is off to a fantastic start. A little snowy here, a little weathery here, but uh, it's good for all of us skiers and snowboarders. It is. And for everyone who doesn't like breaking a leg on the hill, we're upset. But on that piece of news... Better not be prophetic. (laughs) Or I will blame you. Uh, But on, on that piece of news... Uh, Welcome, everyone. Have you ever thought about scaling your company? Have you ever thought about who is the right person to take on your drone services? What if you have so many drone services that you have to hire someone? Who can you trust? What type of person should this be? Is this for your company or is this for a company that you work for? Today's question is all about what type of person is going to be the best type of person for your drone program or even heading your drone program? Well, we're going to be talking about that today in today's episode of Ask Drone You. Uh, By the way, uh, if you haven't heard, our landing pads are back in stock. We only have, I think, like 20, though because about 70 or 75% of our our most recent shipment is already accounted for. So if you want to pick up a landing pad before they get out the door, it's not just a landing pad. So if you're into drone mapping and you need ground control point targets, well, you're in the right spot. Just check out our swag page. Go to droneu.education, scroll to the bottom, check out swag and click landing pads. All right, Rob, let's hear that question. Hello, my name is Derek Egan. I'm from the UK and I run a geotechnical engineering company. Um, It seems to me using drones to get 3D dimension data for things like landslides, cliff stability, quarry management, etc. would be a great uh, add-on to our business. To do this, I'm going to need some human resource um, for a new sort of startup enterprise of the business. So apart from needing... Uh, an an adaptable individual, what specific technical skill set would you advise we look for in terms of a suitable individual who could uh, help us set up this element of our business? Thank you, Derek. Appreciate the question. Astronew.com is where he asked that question. Please go and do the same if you've got a question. Um, so he asked specifically about technical skill set relative to essentially photogrammetry. I would like us maybe to answer it a little bit deeper than just that, but we can certainly touch on that as well, right? What kind of technical skills should somebody have, which I think you would know firsthand what you would look for because you've done so much of this now. If we were going out to hire somebody to essentially do what you do, what technical skills would you want to see in that person? I would like to hire on good Singh. <laughs> okay. What technical <laughs> skills? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. So I just got that out there. I hope someone hears that and sends it to him. So. <laughs> you mean he won't hear it himself? Uh, me, I'm offended. I'm, I am offended as well. I'm but kidding. I also know the, the real life answer I to that know, question. I do so. too. I know the answer to that question uh, myself. But anyways, I hear that. And yes, no, on good's amazing. So what technical skills does on good have that you like? Okay. First of all. Let's talk, I'm going to go micro before I go into, in, excuse me, I'm going to talk macro before I talk micro. Okay. Very important that whoever this person is, is some sort of a quick start, meaning they are able to be given a small piece of information and go very deep on that information. So quick start, meaning they're able to do it on their own. They're able to get started. Uh, They don't need their handheld. Then after that, you need someone who's obviously a fact finder because they need to be able to research really well. Um, Research is key. You don't want people who are lazy. That's a hard combination to find what you just said, FYI. Quick start fact finder. I think I know someone who has two of those traits. You're looking at him. <laughs> like I said, it's hard to find. 
Um, okay, so realistically, what type of person is going to be good for that? Quick start is definitely good. Fact finder, meaning they're good at research, is good as well. I think something that's more important for me is the fact that a person is able to follow systems to a T, meaning that if they're given a structured guide on how to do something, they take the time to study it, they ensure they do each portion really, really well, and then they try to become more efficient at it over time. Because with drone mapping and photogrammetry specifically, it's a very, 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 very nuanced uh, workflow, right? You've got 20 different applications that do mm -hmm. drone mapping and acquisition. You've got three, though, that give you the actual degree of the angle that you're shooting the camera at. And you may ask yourself, I wonder why that's important. These are questions that we answer in the drone you mapping class. By the way, there's one coming into Little Rock, Arkansas here in January. So if you want to spend 30 hours learning all of these nuances, because there's a lot of them, uh, then you'll be in the right spot. Uh, so I want someone who's very good at following systems. They are very thorough, okay? okay? Quick start, fact finder, structure, thorough. Okay. I know that might be hard to find places, might be hard to find people in certain places with those traits, although it is possible. So for me, I'm looking at someone who has uh, computer acumen, meaning they're very, very, they know Microsoft Windows very well. It's probably good if you know someone who knows drones very well. Um, but beyond that, obviously, geospatial uh, intelligence is important. Having an understanding of, uh, of GIS uh, is probably good, like he, you know, he's mentioning. He probably has those last two covered, though, drone-specific knowledge, GIS knowledge. I think it really comes down to someone who, who's good at follow through, who's a good fact finder, and who's structured. But you know who I think of is really a really, Greg, I'm not trying to blow your head up here, but Greg Howe hmm. from, uh, from I Denver. Keep, I keep saying Denver Parks and Rec, but that's not true. South Suburban Parks and Rec. Yeah, <laughs> he's a perfect example. Yeah. Go getter, driven, willing to learn though, doesn't, he's not a hothead, right? He's, he's, as humble as it gets. He is. And, and he's I'm, very nice. I'm glad you said that because there's a couple things that I would add. And one, in, it's, all these are arguable, I suppose, on some level, but one is humility, which means you're teachable. That's right? so critical. I don't care what the effing position is. That's important. Sorry. Yeah, it is. It's very important. And no, I agree about Greg. Um, so props to you, Greg. I think he's just a fantastic person, obviously very smart. But he is humble, and he is very willing to learn from people that he knows know more about him on a given subject. And I think it's really cool. What other it's than, important. What other than teachable, what else do you see in him as a good example? Well, I haven't spent as much time with him as you have. I mean, I think from a personal standpoint, I've had interactions with him. And so I don't know that some of the things that come to mind about him that I like. Uh, this has become the Greg, the Greg show, but nonetheless, um, he's personable. But he, uh, he's even keeled. He, yes, he, he is even he's, keeled. Uh, what I, he's willing. He's a good communicator. Um, I've seen that on multiple levels in person and via the written communication via email. So those are some things that come to mind. You mentioned something and I'm trying to learn how to breathe before I respond. It was in my 2020 goals. Personable, charismatic, probably not something you're going to find with someone who's good at this position. I I think it would yeah. be it would be a good positive because they'd be a good team leader. Yeah, which but, which Greg is. I mean, I think he manages that department there for that he does. municipality. He right? does a good so, job, actually. I mean, obviously, he's a good people person. He manages people and he's good at it. So yeah, that's something that if you can find that. But in terms of technical skills, I think of somebody like a someone who's good at programming because they have that ability to sort of regiment their thinking in terms of solving the problems that they're going to have to solve in the mapping process, right? Yes. Switch tracking really fast. Mr. Vasek from Pawalu Middle School. Holy cow, I am so grateful that we did logic games throughout mm. your math class all through sixth grade. Holy, holy word I can't say. One, oh, it's one of the most valuable teachers I've ever had. You can't say shimoli? No. Huh. Because I would rather just be real instead of being sensitive. That's just a personal choice. 
Anyway. Clearly. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> and Shamoli <laughs> would be my personal choice. Uh, Anyways. And that's why we're here together, Rob, is because we're different. <laughs> anywho, anywho, uh, that's gr- I, I'm fascinated that you remember that that clearly and his name and all that good stuff. But that is awesome. No, I think he was probably that's actually one of the most influential teachers I ever had. But anyway, gotcha. go ahead. That makes sense. No, I think that's one way to make math fun, right? A good math teacher is going to make math fun, which is going to lead to people that can come look back and say what you've just said about math, which is going to lead to the kind of people that Derek is looking for to hire. Great way to wrap it up. So, so great. And I will just say as a quick recap, systems, preference, teachable, humble, follow through. If they know drones or video games or coding really well, you're really in the right spot. Speaking, yeah. speaking of someone else, I just think of Matt Schaefer. Just like, whoa. Absolutely. He's just perfect in all of those. Yeah, no, we, we love you, Matt. And uh, he's one of our Drone U Elite instructors. Fabulous guy, fabulous teacher. And he definitely fits this bill. And, of course, he's a programmer and developer, right? For so sure. I think if you can find a guy like Matt who has the skill set that he has... You're golden. <sighs> Couldn't agree more. Um, on that bombshell, if you have ever found anything interesting or useful from this show, please leave us a comment below. We really appreciate it. Share the show. Leave us a review. One of those two because it's going to help you help us. So thank you. Uh, my name is Paul. My name's Rob. This is Ask Drone You. <laughs>